Hello, how's it going? Dr. J.R. McDonald is a paleontologist for the Los Angeles County Museum of Natural History. He is currently assembling an exhibit of evolving life. His work is to recreate this past era so that we can visualize what the world was like when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Pretty hard. Well, this seems to be doing a trick just fine. Takes a little longer to set up, but there's plenty of room here for work. Do you think the skin... Kathy and James Bryan are film animators and model builders. With them, Dr. J.R. McDonald elaborates on what is known and what can be shown in a moving diorama of the great age of dinosaurs. What about the color? You think that's good enough? Again, color is something we know nothing about. You can almost take your choice on the color of these things. Of course, living amphibians have quite a range of color. Beyond color, there is the problem of recreating the movements, the method of eating, and combat. Curves and would advance these feet like this. Jim Bryan, working under Dr. McDonald's supervision, films a landscape no man has ever seen. The world of the Mesozoic era over 135 million years ago. In mist and shrouded swamps and forests filled with lush vegetation, a hundred different kinds of giants fed. Among them, Stegosaurus. In his skull, a minute brain presumably governed his actions and behavior, while an enlarged bundle of nerves in his pelvis helped to coordinate the movements of his massive hindquarters. Over 20 feet long, his body was a living fortress, burdened by the weight of bizarre protective armament. In nature's struggle to find an enduring form, new sizes and shapes evolved and disappeared. Triceratops showed a refinement in his armored skull, but despite a fearsome appearance, he was a vegetarian, and his kind were prey to a newly emerging form of predator. Tyrannosaurus rex, the largest and most powerful flesh eater ever to roam our planet, ironically heralded the beginning of the end. With powerful hind limbs and teeth half a foot long, he preyed on the numerous plant eaters, but in his specialization was futility, and his reign would be brief. Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, a roll call of the doomed. They all passed into oblivion. Perhaps they lacked the ability to adapt to a changing environment. 